We are back, folks, with the second half. Villa Park Warriors versus Des Plaines Warriors. Villa Park leading 21 to nothing, and here's the onside kick attempt again. Covered by the Des Plaines Warriors. So they will take over with the ball on their own 49-yard line. I was almost late coming back, Richard, because I was down by the concession stand. They got good food down there. Uh, I don't mean to brag, but I think we have the world's best concessions in TCYFL, especially the nachos. The nachos, the nachos. Yeah. Well, the Warriors now have uh, had a great first half. Let's see if they can repeat that performance throughout. Coming up here, uh, 21 to nothing is the score. I think there was uh, three possessions by the Des Plaines Warriors that all ended three and out. Or Three. four and out. And, and, uh, with one interception as well. Yeah, yeah, on the fourth down play. So that that will uh, bode well if they can continue that for the the Villa Park team. But uh, here comes the Desplaines Warriors on the line of scrimmage. And a quick pitch to the far side. Turns upfield. But nice coverage by four different tacklers to hit the runner coming out of the backfield and that will be a short gain of about two three yards. Yeah. First one on there was Nebel, looks like number 25. Pretty good hit too. And that was a big boy coming out of the backfield. Uh, uh, you got to do something to slow him down and he sure did it on the first hit. Display has a little bit of size uh, on them it looks like. Have some pretty tall kids out there. But our Warriors are doing an excellent job on them so far. Well, now they're coming up to the line of scrimmage with a second and eight play. Quarterback in the shotgun formation. Man in motion. And a quick handoff to the far side. Runner gets down to the about the 38 yard line. I said he was in a slot. I said he was in a slot. Uh, uh, Shotgun formation, I was wrong. He was behind the center, so I was looking at the halfback. That's that's just me. I'm not that experienced, Richard. you gotta, <laughs> you got to correct me with this. Number four, Cody. Wankus makes the tackle. That's the biggest game so far by Desplaines all day. And a first down for them. The first, of course, of this game so far. Desplaines now at the line of scrimmage. One man in motion again. Quick pitch to that man in motion goes on the ground. It has to cover it at the Villa Park 49 yard line. So it's a big, big loss. Looks like there's some uh, confusion or mis misdirection in the backfield of Desplaines. Desplaines quarterback looked like he had hes he's hesitating to make the pitch, waiting for the fullback to go through. Probably from his vantage point, the, the, the fullback or the halfback was in front of the fullback and he couldn't get it to him, right? Yeah, he was in his way. Yeah. Um, and that's the type of offense of doubling that fullback needs to get out quickly. And that fullback was uh, hesitating quite a bit. And that's what caused that pitch to go Ari. Well, it's now second down at at least 19 yards for the Displains Warriors. There's a snap, back for a pass out in the flat here. And a uh, nice tackle down at the 45 yard line. Good coverage by Tomalty, Nubble, and Kirschbaum, and Fulton there making the tackle. Good pursuit. Minimizing again, you get a team backed up like this, you don't want to give them a chance, you don't want to give them uh, room to breathe. That was an excellent job. So don't lay back, don't let them get any confidence, just keep at them, right? No, nope, keep their momentum to a minimum. You want to keep yours going and keep theirs from starting. This plane is now out of the huddle. Warriors to the right side with their blue jersey, silver caps. This plane's with the black and blue jerseys and white caps. There's the snap and a passing play that uh, was short. Heavy pressure by 
Bill Parks put on the quarterback. That falls incomplete. Fourth down. Their quarterback looked a little uncomfortable back there. Having a host of Warriors in his face. There was quite a swarm around him, wasn't yep. it? Yep. I'd be uncomfortable too. Well, highlights always come from uh, the, the offense when you have a big score like this, but the defense so far for the Warriors has been doing a fantastic job. And if you're Coach Fitzgerald, again, you are thrilled with the way they're playing today. Total domination in all three facets of the game. We've seen a couple of onside kicks. One was successful that really helped turn around that uh, first half, giving the opportunity for the Warriors to score another touchdown as they brought the ball downfield. And uh, uh, a couple of good defensive plays, including interception. And so far, the, the Warriors are playing great defense here in the second half, too. Here comes the blitz, number 21, come up the middle. Lots of pressure in the backfield, and he is leveled there. The quarterback for a big, big Take loss again. The play by Marisi, Warriors take over. That blitz by number 21, Anthony Fulton, is what caused that play. Putting the pressure up the middle. Made him run, get out of his, out of his, uh, out of where he wanted to be. Okay, we have an injury on the field. We will be right back uh, while the uh, coaches tend to the injured player from the Desplaines Warrior team. You're watching the Villa Park Warriors against the Desplaines Warriors here at Willowbrook High School. We'll be right back. Okay, the quarterback for the Desplaines team was taken off the field on his own power. Now the Warriors with a quick snap and a quarterback keep up the middle. And almost a, a, a swap. Nibble with the carry, picked up five on the play, second down. Just smash mouth football, quarterback dive up the middle. Looked like a little rugby scrum there for a minute. Yeah, it did, it did resemble Australian rugby there for about a minute. So the Warriors now with second down and about five yards to go. Sun comes out shining on the field. Never felt so good. That does feel good. That little heat coming from the sun. Warriors now with second down. And a quarterback keep up the middle. That goes nowhere. This time for a bit of a loss. This place is ready for it that time. With the carry. Stopped on the play. Third down. A lot of people are thinking, why are we running up the middle? Why are we running up the middle two times in a row? And Coach Fitzgerald just kind of softening them up right now. Probably going to throw something outside on them. If not on third, then on fourth down. I know in other sports they do things where they have, you know, multiple choices to uh, be a purpose play. And that's what you're really talking about here. It's a purpose play to make them feel like the center of the field is where they need to focus on, and then you go to other, other right. positions, right? And this is why football is such a chess game of chess. As physical as it is, it's... it's it's a game of chess. One move leads to the next. Okay, now we're back for a passing play. And just as you said, right oh. up the middle for a passing play. And that was just in In and out of his hands. Yeah, he was open there. So good call by the offensive coordinators and coaching staff. But that will make it fourth down and about five yards. And I feel good about this. I think we've got uh, the ability to make this first down. I have total confidence that they make this first down right now. If you notice the difference in levels from featherweight to middleweight, you notice there's uh, quite a bit more passing as you go up the level. Still primarily a run, run first type of, type of offense type of league, but definitely more passing as you, as you get up in age. Warriors now with a fourth and five play from the Desplaines 40 four yard line. There's a snap to Tumulty and a passing play and it's complete down the left side, the far side and into the end zone. Tumulty completes the novel. The most fun thing about that play is after is seeing all the, all the Warriors run down to celebrate with their teammate. Yeah, that's great. Charging down the field because the, that was an exciting play and, and uh, one that they needed right there with a fourth down conversion needed, but they turned it into a touchdown with a uh, scramble by Tumulty out of the backfield to the far side and a pass down the far sideline to, well, who's that, number 25? Number 25, Neville. Neville. Ryan Neville. 
into the end zone on a nice run down the down the field after the catch. So the Warriors now lead 26 to nothing. I I'm sorry, you, 27 to nothing, right? Showcasing everything in their offensive arsenal. Running left, running right, up the middle, passing. It's all working. Here's a snap for the point after Tumulty with the ball. He's got a little room there, and he does make a pass for the extra point. Complete to Kate Fitzgerald for the extra point. So that makes the score now 28 to nothing. The Villa Park Warriors leading the Des Plaines Warriors, and we'll be right back for the kickoff here in the second quarter. I'm sorry, third quarter. You're watching... Villa Park Warriors football from Willowbrook High School. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. This is Al Stash and Richard Thomas from the Villa Park Warriors Youth Football League. You're watching football from Willowbrook High School. And Richard, now that the score has uh, gone up to the size that it is right now, 28 to nothing, things change. There's no kickoff, right? Correct. We're an extreme score rule now. Uh, it's 28 to nothing. So how it affects the uh, Villa Park Warriors is on defense, we can no longer blitz. Uh, there are no more kickoffs, so anytime Des Plaines gets the ball, it'll be on the 50. When we're on offense, we're not. There will be no more passing, and we have to put in a second string backfield. Second down. And lastly, there's a running clock. It does not stop unless there's an injury or a timeout. Even if you go out of bounds, the clock continues to roll. So you've got some ability to come back in this situation, but I think, you know, the Warriors uh, have pretty good depth on that uh, defensive uh, squad out there, right? Yeah, their, their front, front five, front seven has uh, done an exceptional job today, and as long as they keep doing what they're doing, I don't see this plane is getting too far. Quick pitch out on the runner coming out of the backfield. He gets to the 40-yard line. From a competitive standpoint, the, the extreme rules, extreme uh, score rules, really good for the opposing team. And the aspect that since there's no blitzing, gives you a better chance to score and keep it competitive. And then when you're on defense, having a second string backfield, oftentimes doesn't really know the play, gives you an advantage on defense. Mm -hmm. It keeps you in the game. Then having a running clock makes the game go faster. Yeah, down to 37 seconds here in the third quarter. The Des Plaines Warriors now the snap, and the ball is fumbled at the line of scrimmage, but covered by the quarterback. So they just lose it down there. No yardage lost, down lost, and time off the clock, which is now at 15 seconds left. So it doesn't look like they'll get another playoff here in the third quarter. And we'll be switching to the opposite side of the field, not too far down the field. Ball right now on the 40-yard line. That's there. the end of the third quarter. So the Warriors are leading 28 to nothing after three quarters of play over the Des Plaines Warriors. And Al Stash and Richard Thomas will be right back. 